Well, you say that democracy is implicit socialism, which is true, but I'd rather call it something that takes it a step further. I'd call democracy fiscally socialist. For those of you who don't know, fiscal means the financial budget for the government. And basically, democracy is fiscally socialist. That means it's pre marginalist. In that sense, that there isn't this marginal utility used to describe how resources need to be allocated. Where do they need to go? And in my opinion, the ultimate discovery you can make through democracy is that really it's the same thing as monarchy. It's the same thing as anything else. There isn't this non subjective sense of where mo the money needs to go, there's this relative error all the time. And it's not going to be solved through better politicians or smarter politicians because that's not the issue. Barack Obama has a Harvard education. It's pretty okay academically, for, but that's not the issue. Because if it was an intelligence thing, what is this? An aristotic democracy? No. The problem is that there is no ideal non-subjective means of finding out where these resources need to go to, where our taxpaying money is supposed to go through via democracy. Or anything else, because it's all subjectivized. Because value subject. For example, education. We have like this huge budget on education, military maybe, healthcare, Medicare, and it's not going through the right places after that. So there's always this issue. Anyway, as for rational ignorance. That voters need to be rationally ignorant. That's very true. For example, I know a lot of people who are very into politics, and when it comes to vote, why they voted, if you ask them why they voted on something, they're going to say some sort of bullshit answer. And there's this look. Conserve water. I do. Sorry, that was a tangent. For example, I know this guy who he claims to be this lover of politics. He's loved it for years. And my mom said, Oh, and I bet he loves it more than you do because he actually wants to be a politician. You no longer want that. And I, she was asked, Well, Back in the John McCain Obama feud, which side was he on? He said Obama, and she asked why. Well, McCain's predictable. He has a female as his vice. He's saying all those classic rhetorics that Bush did, and he's very predictable. Well, Obama, it's not as predictable. And it was he's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's probably gonna be, be pissed at me. He's, I know I said a douchebag thing towards him when I was a kid before. <laughs> so probably like create more of a stink. Anyway, that's the thing. Rational ignorance. It's rational to be ignorant. But let's say that they're not rationally ignorant. And they'll probably choose a person who will open the jaw towards the markets to close states like Ron Paul 
I mean, that's the video I have most dislikes on. Well, the most dislikes to likes ratio. The video where I dissed Ron Paul, I called him a pussy. And I have no regrets for calling him a pussy, but... Let's say you get some guy like that who at least make the GDP spending lower, who will lower the amount of regulations in the market. Well, not regulations. That's a terrible word to use because regulations means something that protects us from hazards. Let's say controls. He closes up the market controls, makes them less, and the economy ends up better. Crime rate goes down as a result, and he does everything the right way. Even with this, we're still better off with polycentric law. <laughs> that's a, another ultimate argument you can make. Even with the ultimate democracy where people are philosophically aware and philosophically correct enough to choose a person who will push it to the best that they can, you're still better off without the state. It's very unlikely that if all the variables are good, that losing the state is going to make things plummet, because losing the state is a positive variable. You'd be better off organizing the polycentric law than anything else, that's the way I see it. So, fringe elements, I really hope that you let this response go on. And put this as your response to yours. Because I really don't got shit. Got like four other videos. They all suck. And I could sure use. A little bit of your support, buddy. Swanka. And suck my dick.